think speaks for itself. Can't argue with 0 16. That's as bad as you can possibly get. They were pathetic. An embarrassment haunts his stomach. They're the worst team in NFL history. In 1978, the NFL switched to a 16 game season. And 30 years later, the Detroit Lions became the first team to lose every one. I'd hate to be the guy putting together the Lions highlight film. We gonna show the punter and the field goal kicker. There's no sugar in this football team. Okay, fuck that, so the Lions go to Atlanta for their season opener. They're playing what's supposed to be a bad team with a rookie quarterback. And boom. Ryan Goodrow, first professional pass. San Francisco against Mike Martz, the coordinator who they had fired, and against J.T. O'Sullivan, who they had cut. And O'Sullivan and Martz carved them up. That would just be called too easy. The one that's going to get replayed forever is Dan Orlovsky running out of the back of the end zone. Oh, he's running out of bounds. That's a safety. He was able to laugh about it during the year, but unfortunately for him, that's going to be the signature moment. I know Dan Orlovsky's never started in an NFL game, but how do you run three yards out of the end zone like that? Detroit's a depressing city to be in with, and then you got the Lions going 0 16. Oof. This was a team that just accepted its destiny. As perhaps the worst team ever in professional sports. There's nothing more right for them offensively or defensively. They got to the point where people in Detroit were ashamed of them. I think that they were resigned to the fact that this was a horrible football team, and that's the way it was going to be. Thanksgiving Day is going to stick out in a lot of people's minds. Everybody make sure they get a piece of this lion we have for Thanksgiving. It's the one day a year we know we're on national TV. Thanksgiving Day in downtown Detroit. And they just pounded the lions. Touchdown! Okay. 